Hey you guys, it's me, Asia O'Hara, and I am back to count down even more of the most memorable moments in Drag Race history. We are continuing to curate 10 of the most iconic times the queens have left you gagged. Don't adjust your screens, because we are just getting started. Today is a very special episode where we will be highlighting memorable moments from the past of All Stars 5! We will be looking at the best of the unforgettable queens competing to be the next All Star to hang in the Drag Race Hall of Fame. First up, in alphabetical order, from season three and All Stars season one, Alexis Mateo. Number one. Hi, Manela. <laughs> I just saw Manela, girl. After making the top three of season three, Alexis Mateo returned in All Stars, partnered with Yara Sofia, but was unable to go all the way. Her daughter, Vanessa Vanji Mateo, of course debuted on season 10, but we will forever associate this queen of zingers with one word, bam! 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 <laughs> Get it, baby. Only in America now, a woman like me have a freaking chorizo! Yes, baby! Number two. Well, I do declare the beautiful Blair St. Clair. We have a season 10 girl up next. This stunner didn't get quite as far as she would have liked, but since her elimination, Blair has evolved and the glow up is real, honey. We will forever remember that raw vulnerability Blair displayed on stage in her final season 10 episode as she spoke her truth. Take a look. I have looked to find uh, pretty things. I mean, I need to get over it, but um, I've tried to turn positive the, the best I can. Thank you for being so candid with us. We love you, Blair. Blair St. Clair has literally displayed how to have a glow up in every single aspect of your life. While she is still that beautiful, sweet little Southern belle that we know her for, she's grown up into a full-fledged woman. Number three. Good girls gone bad. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You should do that one more time. Hey, 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 hey. I would be very popular in prison. It's Derek, bitch. The 100th queen to walk into the workroom was none other than premier Britney Spears impersonator Derek Barry. Making it all the way to the top five of season eight, Derek had a multitude of memorable moments, but we will never forget the iconic drama Derek brought, especially with Naomi Smalls. Bitch, glue down your brows and then I'll glue down my lace. I cannot wait to see a shot of you and have screen caps go around and it's just lifted lace. And you know what yours is gonna be? It's gonna be so much light reflected off that forehead because there's no brow on there. <laughs> Number four. Vegas is in the house with a queen all the way from season three, India Farah. India was a pioneer of the dramatic cheek contour and a devotee of the breastplate. She is, of course, remembered for being lifted by Mimi on first during their Don't Leave Me This Way lip sync. But, of course, we are particularly fond of her very dramatic entrance moment. Girl, prison, honey. Number five. Next up is a queen that needs no introduction because she is simply that legendary. The incomparable Juju B. I know why Juju B is so good at reading because she is so sweet in person. She knows that she can get away with saying anything to these queens and they're not going to be offended. Let me tell you something, puerca. You won't understand this anyways. <laughs> get my gist. Do you understand? Pandora. Can we talk about sun tanning? And you, legendary you think you are. Legendary looks like leg and dairy. Oh! <laughs> Number six. Mug for days indeed. The beautiful Mariah Balenciaga is back, making that the third queen from season three to battle once again for the crown. Obviously known for her stunning mug and her role in the infamous sugar daddy scene, what we love most about Mariah are her iconic confessionals. The shade is real. Don't tiptoe around the answer. The thing is, you told them you have glamour. Do you think you can deliver glamour? Because you just told us that what you do is camp. I was channeling Lee Bowery today. You, girl, it was camp. Number seven. The party continues as my fellow season 10 sister, Mayhem Miller, 
returns to avenge her season 10 run, cut far too short to a Shania Twain song of all things. <sighs> Every Mayhem moment is sweeter and more genuine than the next, but let's never forget in that first episode of season 10 when Mayhem killed that runway. Mother may I, Mayhem Miller? Ooh, I wonder if that dress is three-ply lining. Mm. Well, for safety, she double-bagged it. Yes! There was no way around it. Mayhem was winning. And, you know, it was great to see someone that had tried for so many seasons to get on the show finally be on and be shining like the superstar that she is. The glove outfit, just like every other outfit in that episode, in that season, in the entire franchise, in television history, was better than the sponge dress. Now, while I know you wish I was on this cast of Fabulous Queens, I am not. However, I do have my top moment that would solidify me as an all-star competitor. My mermaid look. Asia O'Hara. Ooh, from the Chernobyl Reef. Yes. <laughs> Never go swimming in Love Canal. No. <laughs> Not only did I step outside of the box, but my mermaid mask is basically the same as the rejuvenated, plumped and pulled faces of all the other All-Stars girls. Cheeks pulled back to the back of their head, waist little, titties big. I'm kind of ahead of the game. I was already All-Stars ready. I just had all of my plastic surgery in a box, ready to put on. Y'all can't be mad at your girl. Number eight. Next up, another season 10 fan favorite, the hilarious Miss Cracker. When she wasn't dressed like a pickle chasing mayhem, Cracker was serving looks and winning the makeover challenge with Miss Cookie in episode 10. Let's take a look back at episode eight of season 10 when Miss Cracker served comeback. Share. Vocoder, something I can believe. The answer is technology. Vocoder, a new trick of my speed. Turn it to a robot from outer space. Share was a very traumatic time you know, in, 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 in my in my career, I will say. But I love to go back and watch Vocoder. It's my favorite part. Number nine. All the way from season one is our next queen, the amazing Angina. Let's take a second to remember that unforgettable moment when Angina shared her truth. This OG moment came after Angina won the Mac Viva Glam Challenge and bravely opened up about her HIV status on national television. I've been living with HIV for the last two years of my life and this means so much to me. <laughs> it's a moment that set the standard for the show to shed light on a variety of important topics for many seasons to come. Number 10. Look at the edges I snatched today. I see you watching how I sashay in the other girl's best get out of my way. Last but certainly not least is our final all-star, the phenomenal Shay Coulee. With so many highlights to choose from, it's hard to boil down her amazing run on season nine. Besides her four challenge wins, she also had sickening runways like her construction worker, village people couture. But Shay really popped when she stopped the runway as Black China and the Kardashian Rusical, which should have been Nina Bonina Brown. I'm still in the spotlight and no one can help me. Now you're right on my coattails and liking my selfies, uh. All right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Sound off in the comments below with your favorite moments from the Queens of All Stars 5. And stay tuned for more future episodes where we will count down more canon drag race moments that keep us coming back for more. I am Asia O'Hara, and until next time, bye! <laughs> okay, if I find out that you have not subscribed to the RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel, I'm gonna have an attitude. So, subscribe.